Bluehost versus Cloudways. In today's video, I'm going to compare these two web hosting platforms so that you can make the best educated decision to choose whichever platform you want to go with. Before that, I do want to mention that I'm not getting paid to say any of this and I won't leave any affiliate links. So all of this is going to be my personal and honest opinion. What I'm going to do is simply show you the features and pricing from both platforms. And then finally, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my final conclusion to which web hosting company is better. Let's get into that right now. Let's start off with Bluehost. So Bluehost is probably one of the most well-known web hosting companies. They're great at doing marketing and they really target the first time users. So if you're watching this as a complete beginner and you've never used a web hosting company before, Bluehost is a great option for you. The reason I'm saying that is because the usability on this platform is really, really simple. Like I said, they kind of like target for first time users. Now what that means is that they need to make sure that the platform is easy to use and easy to understand even for beginners. Now in terms of uh, usability on Cloudways, it's a little bit more advanced, a little bit more complicated, but there's also a benefit to that and that's that they will give you more options and more things you can do with these specific platforms. So as a beginner, I would recommend Bluehost over Cloudways. If you're an advanced user, I would definitely um, prefer Cloudways because you can do more and it's more advanced. Now, apart from that, let's take a look at the pricing. So what I wanna do is go over to WordPress hosting and then scroll down. You can see that Bluehost is really cheap. Now, once again, that is perfect for beginners because if you're just getting started, you don't wanna waste a ton of money right away then you can simply go with cheap plans and they do have those on Bluehost. You can see the cheapest plan is only two euros and 44 cents per month. Keep in mind that's a 36 month term. So it's not 12 months, that's 36 months, but still it's only two euros and 44 cents per month. That is awesome. Now that will get you one website, 50 GB storage, custom themes, 24 seven customer support. And that also includes a free domain for a year, a free CDN, and then a free SSL certificate. Now, if you don't know what that means, it's pretty much the, uh, the secure lock thing right here so that people know your website is secure. Now, another thing I do wanna show you is that if I go over to WordPress.org, this is the website from, uh, from WordPress itself, and then go to hosting, you'll see that even WordPress itself recommends Bluehost as an hosting company. Now what that means is that they've literally checked out every single web hosting company out there, like the best ones. And from all of them, they prefer, they recommend Bluehost, Dreamhost and SiteGround. So Bluehost is definitely included within the best web, uh, web host companies out here. Now what that means is that it's really easy to create your WordPress website by using Bluehost as the web hosting company. So Bluehost pricing plans are pretty cheap. Let's compare them to Cloudways. On Cloudways, the cheapest plan available is $10 per month. Now that might sound bad because it's way more expensive. However, that doesn't necessarily have to be the case because if I scroll down, you'll see all the features that come with this. Now, once again, like I said at the start of this video, Bluehost is targeted for beginners, first time users, Cloudways is better for more advanced users that really want to do like more complicated stuff. Now, as you can see, this comes with way more features. So this plan comes with 24 seven 365 support. Now Bluehost also has that, so don't worry. It comes with a free SSL, a CDN add-on, just like on Bluehost, but then they've got free migration. Now free migration is awesome because on Bluehost, they're gonna charge you, wait for it, $150 to do that. So that alone, if you need to migrate your website, this plan would already be better and cheaper than Bluehost within the span of like a year, I guess, because 150 bucks, think about that guys. If you pay for this for 12 months, it's gonna be 120. If you go with Bluehost, you're gonna have to pay this and then also 150 bucks if you wanna migrate the website. So this is definitely a huge, huge benefit. You've got unlimited application installations, team management, dedicated firewalls, 24 seven real-time monitoring, automated backups, staging environment. So I can keep going for a while, but what you'll notice is that Cloudways has way more options and is more advanced, like I said in the intro. Now that doesn't have to mean that Bluehost is really bad. It's not bad at all. Like I said, for beginners, this is amazing. It's easy to use, it's cheap, it gets the job done, and you can still do anything you want with Bluehost itself. 
However, if you're looking for the best platform in terms of features, performance, Cloudways is better and I'll explain why right now. If we take a look at the downtime, so the performance of these uh, web hosting companies, we know that Bluehost has about a free day period of downtime within a year. So it's about 99.97% as they like to claim. With Cloudways, there's zero downtime, never, which is insane. And I'll explain how that works right now. So Cloudways doesn't have their own servers. So because they're cloud servers, what happens is that when one server goes down, it automatically fixes itself by simply connecting and using the other servers that are available. So they're not depending on their own server or one server in general. If one of them uh, like is down, they'll automatically heal itself, which means that there's no downtime, never. And that's a huge benefit because your website will always be online. So you won't be missing out on leads, sales and all of that good stuff. In terms of security, Cloudways is also way better than Bluehost. Bluehost is not that great for security. So if you want to avoid uh, people hacking your website, Cloudways will also do a better job. So I'm at the security feature tab. You can see they've got dedicated firewalls, one click free SSL installation, IP whitelisting, regular security patching, 2FA, bot protection, and I can keep going for a while. So um, Cloudways has done a way better job at protecting your uh, like website than Bluehost. Bluehost isn't that great at this. In terms of the speed performance of your website, Cloudways also outperforms Bluehost. Bluehost isn't that great, it's not bad either, but they've, they've actually improved it a lot since uh, like about three years ago, like over the past couple of years, they've improved it a lot. However, Cloudways is still way better in terms of the speed and performance. So which web hosting company is better? Is it gonna be Bluehost or is it gonna be Cloudways? So in my opinion, there's a clear winner and that's gonna be Cloudways. You can probably see from everything I've shown you today in this video is that Cloudways has better performance, better features, pretty much everything is better, but it's more expensive as well. So if you're someone that's just trying to build a simple website, and you don't have that, mu uh, that much budget or you don't wanna spend that much money, Bluehost is gonna be great. So this is ideal for a blog or a small site. If you're just a single person that wants to make a simple website, I would go with Bluehost because it's not gonna be that much money, it's easy to use, it's simple, and that is that. However, if you're trying to do more advanced stuff, you wanna actually build a proper website with proper protection, speed, um, less downtime, like absolutely no downtime, so just more the advanced route, then definitely go with Cloudways every single day of the week. So that is pretty much my opinion, and you can read some reviews on Google, you'll find that Cloudways is better in terms of features, performance, all of that. It's gonna cost you more money, but that's because it's gonna give you more value than Bluehost, if that makes sense. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you out. If it did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video. Like I said, I'm not getting paid to say any of this, so a like on the video would help me out in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, and then I'll see you in the next video. You can also click on the screen right here to check out all my web host comparison videos to find out if there is a better one than Cloudways. I'll see you there.